her early spring lignberry um, update. So this might be a stupid question or like a dumb thing to think about, but I was actually worried for these all winter um, because they were buried in snow since December. And I like tried Googling it and I didn't find out anything about whether they could handle being like completely buried in snow for like four months at a time. And you guys might think that that's silly to wonder about because they're from Sweden and like they're native to Sweden. Basically, the colder the air, the drier it will be. And if you have dry air, you probably won't have a lot of snowfall. So I don't really know how much snowfall Sweden has. So I don't really know if plants native to Sweden are generally covered in snowfall all year round. And especially plants that tend to grow in the forest, as I suspect these tend to grow in the forest. There's probably less, the snow is probably not as deep in forests. So yeah, I was just trying to Google it. I was kind of worried. However, I have discovered that these can handle being covered in snow from early December to mid-March. So that's really exciting. They're just starting to come out now. They look really, really good. And there's new growth right there. So that's fun. Um, we also have some evergreens over here that were covered in snow all year round. These are my mountain laurels. We have my raspberry glow here. Um, the, leaves, the leaves don't really look that healthy, but they were kind of like that when I got them. Um, and it seems to be doing fine. <laughs> I don't know, I will be able to tell in spring. But yeah, that was completely submerged all winter. And so is this one. I think this is, I forgot what kind this is, but I think it's supposed to have like um, Target colored flowers, like red with a, or white with a red circle. And this one is the one I'm most excited for. This is pristine mountain laurel. Um, it's supposed to be all white. You know I love white flowers and it has buds, see? Mountain laurel tend to set their buds in the fall and keep them throughout the winter. And yeah, we have some buds here, so that's really exciting. We have some green leaves and again, all of these, this entire plant, including the buds, were completely submerged in snow. And it's doing really well. It still kept its buds. It looks really healthy. So that's really exciting. And actually, mountain laurel are related to rhododendrons and azaleas. And both of those plants also bud in the fall and bloom in the spring. So you're going to have buds kind of hanging on all winter. And that's how you know if your plant is going to bloom or not. If there are buds in the fall, you can expect flowers in the spring. If there are no buds in the fall, like there are no buds on this plant or my raspberry glow, they are not going to bloom in the spring, but that's okay. Hopefully they like this spot and they grow and I'll have some blooms next spring. Mm -hmm.